Hello everybody and we're here and today we're going to be playing Beat Walking 3 Season 3. Um, hopefully we can finish Season 3 in this stream and start Episode 4. Maybe finish uh, Season... Maybe finish up uh, Episode 4. Uh, yeah, like I said, silent, it's always going to be silent streams. Uh, if you know, if you talk, I mean, if you chat, I'll respond and unmute. But I want to be able to look back on this. Not so much. I'll be able to look back on this without me comment, uh, doing commentary. But some streams, like one of my season one streams, where I will be talking a little bit because I'm interacting with a fan. But most of the time, it will be completely silent. Yeah, see so, yeah. Um, give me one second guys, I need to find my remote. And I am back. Previously on The Walking Dead. have to fill his cup up anymore, baby. Grandpa is sleeping. No, Yaya. People's awake. <gasps> Solamente está confundido. Mama. Oh my god! Oh my god! up and close your eyes. Thanks. Mari! Oh, shit! Kate! Javi, don't! Hey, what do we call you? Sorry, forgot to introduce myself. It's Paul, but my friends call me Jesus. I fucking knew it. You're one of them? You're goddamn right she is. If you want to shoot me, shoot me. How about I shoot your little boyfriend here instead? Holy shit!
What the hell's going on out here? Oh my god. So close to dark. It's harder to see them coming. We're just gonna get that propane and then come right back. I, I saw it in that pickup truck parked down the road a little. In front of the Wallace's house. I just wish there was an easier way to get it. And that we didn't have to risk life and limb every damn day. Nothing's easy anymore, Kate. But that doesn't mean we don't have to try. I know. It's just hard to get used to. That's all. We get over there, we grab the tank, and we get the hell back home. If we're lucky, we won't see a single one of those things. <sighs> Fingers crossed. There it is! Let's take it and go. Why would we get that lucky? Hey, keep it down. I know it sucks, Kate, but you gotta watch out. I'm sorry. I'm just sick of this shit. I just thought this one time we deserve to catch a fucking break. So you recognized him. That's no reason to let it kill you. And it was going to kill you. I know. I know you're right. I don't even know what to call them. If they're not people, if they're just the dead, muertos. That's what we'll call them. I thought we were gonna die. I thought... Gabe and Mariana were just gonna wake up and we would just be gone. I'm right here, okay? I'm here. You're here. We're still alive. That's what matters. <sighs> Can we go back now? I know we all wanted to stay here in the house and wait for David to come back. But it's been three months since he drove away with your mom. What are you saying? We're not safe here. Not anymore. You and I could have been killed out there. For an empty can. There's got to be a safer place out there. Somewhere not so isolated. But Kate, I mean, this is your home. You're getting sentimental now? We stay. Somebody's going to get hurt. Or worse. You really think the kids are going to be happy with this plan? The kids will understand. And if they don't, we'll just make them see it our way. 
We have to go. How come? What if I don't want to leave? Cape. We're safe inside the house. A and I bet we can find more food in the neighborhood if we just look harder. We need to find somewhere with more people around. People who are still alive. People who don't mind sharing their supplies. We have our own supplies. Not enough. Not anymore. But what about Dad? What's he gonna think if he shows up and we, we just ditched him? We might never find him again. We have to look out for ourselves now, Gabe. I wish things were different, but our safety's more important. But we're safe here. No, we're not. I'm sorry, Gabe, but Javi's right. Uh, how about you guys go and I stay here? You're a kid. That's not how it works. I can take care of myself. If I need any help, I'll just ask my friends. Gabe? Honey? What? What's, what's wrong with her? Why is she acting so weird? Uncle Javi? Nothing's wrong with her. She's just a, a little shook up. That's all. We can't lie to him, Javi. He needs to know. Will you guys just tell me what's going on? Your friend, Drew, from down the street? He... He didn't make it. He... He turned into one of them. So you understand why, don't you? Why we have to leave? If that happened to you, I couldn't bear it. When do we have to go? Tomorrow, as soon as it's daylight. I want to leave him a note. I'll help you get started. Okay? What are we going to tell him? I want to say something good. Just tell him we love him. All of us. And nothing's going to change that. Not ever. I like that. I'm going to write it right now, so we don't forget. Of course. I'll help him. Thank you. Really. Dad? Javi? Is that really you? <laughs> I 
I always hoped I'd find you. Never really thought it happened. Not after all this time. God, you have no idea how good it is to see your face. I think I got a pretty decent idea, actually. I knew you were still alive. I knew it. Hey, weapons down. This is my family. You gotta let us in. Kate doesn't have much longer. Jesus. Kate! David? I'm here, honey. I'm right here. What the hell happened? She's been shot. We got the bullet out, but she's still bleeding. We need your doctor. Now, David. Thanks, Abby. For getting her here. She's coming inside! But she hasn't been checked! This is my wife, Max. You want her to die? No! I didn't say that! Our doctor's gonna help you, honey. I'm gonna make sure of it. Wait, I I'm going with you. Sorry, but the rest of you have to go straight to quarantine. What for? All newcomers get checked for bites, and they all have to answer a couple of questions. Our doctor will clear the two of them, but the rest of you have to come with me to the quarantine holding area. It's how we keep it safe for everyone. Come on out, everyone else had to do it. God, this is bullshit. Come on. The sooner you come along, the sooner we can get you cleared. Let's go. I didn't, I didn't know what to think. The engine up and died. I came here looking for help, and this happened. I've been so worried about Kate. I told them she needed a doctor. They promised me someone would look into it. Well, luckily we found her before she got any worse. They just took her to the hospital. I can't believe no one went to look for her. I'm sorry, Javi. Really, but... I didn't have any reason not to believe them. Give me one moment. What? And I am back, everyone. The people here in Richmond, their new frontier. Oh my god. Oh, ho, ho, you ain't even heard the worst part yet. One of them's his brother. I didn't even know you had a brother, Hobby. Maybe it's a good thing. We've got somebody on the inside, somebody who can vouch for us. Vouch for you, maybe. Javi could be right. At one word from David, and the others came running to take Kate to the hospital. Whoever this guy is, he can't be all bad, right? I mean, he helped Kate instead of hauling her down here. Of course he brought her inside. She's his damn wife. You're kidding. Kate is married to your brother? David was gone. I had to step up, make sure the family would be okay. It's not like I could just walk away from her, from any of them. 
No, of course not. Family drama aside, hope you know I'm not about to make nice with New Frontier. I know you didn't have much stake in Prescott Hobby, but they burned that place to the ground for no fucking reason. After everything you folks told me, I'm guessing I'm not gonna find my people alive. Hell, Javi. They killed your niece! Shot Kate! For all we know, your brother could have been behind it. And even if it wasn't his idea in the first place... I hate to admit it, but... There's a chance he gave the order. If he didn't know it was them, if he was just trying to get payback for what was stolen... It's possible. What was he like when you knew? You guys get along. He seemed happy enough to see you up there. Things between me and him were complicated. Some days we'd be at each other's throats. Other days we could shoot the shit for hours and still find stuff to talk about. So he's a moody son of a bitch, huh? If your brother knew anything about what happened in Prescott, he's got to answer for it. They all do. I owe that to Conrad. I'm not just gonna let things slide. I've never really been an eyebrow kind of man. We need to look like we're playing along with their rules. Go along with what they say. For now. Then, when the time is right, that's when we demand justice. Hey. Hey. I would have been here sooner, but I had to take care of... something. Come on already. Kate's asking for you. Maybe you think it's okay to keep a lady waiting. That in order, David? Fucking with me already, huh? Some things never change. Looks like the rules don't apply to everyone, huh? That's right. Some people get out of here early. Others stay a long fucking time. Trip, just drop it, okay? Smart cookie, this one. Javi, just go. I'll put in a good word for you, okay? See if we can't hurry the process along a bit. Thanks. along with them for now? That doesn't sound good. We have a process. Our own way of doing things. Your guys better not have a problem with that. Things don't go well for trouble. I hope that's clear. No problem. You won't have to worry about them. Didn't sound that way. They just have to get used to things. I hope you're right. Come on. Where are we going? Kate asked for you. I thought you'd want to check on her. Listen, Javi, Gabe... He told me some pretty messed up things. Things I need your help wrapping my head around. I don't know what Gabe's been telling you. You're saying he's a liar? He's been through a lot. Sometimes he blurs reality and fiction. I doubt he'd blur his sister's death. He told me you lost Mariana. Just a few days ago. I'm sorry, David. She's... She's gone. It's strange grieving for the same person twice. Like losing something you didn't know you had. What was she like, Javi? She was so little when we got separated. Who did my little girl become? I don't know what to tell you, David. She was too sweet for this fucked up world. You gotta have grit to get this far. 
How? How did she die? Tell me how it happened. She was just standing there, minding her own business. She just found her lost headphones in the dirt. She was smiling. And then someone put a bullet in her head. What kind of animal would just open fire on her like that? An animal with your mark. My people aren't in the habit of killing little girls. David, I was there. They shot Kate, too. Ask your buddy at the gate if you don't believe me. Max was a part of this? Fuck. I need details. What the hell went down out there? I need to know exactly what happened. Bastards knocked me out and threw me in their truck. I got away near this town, Prescott. The same assholes attacked us there. Their leader flooded it with walkers and, and tear gas. Leader? A crazy bald guy with a beard. Badger, what the fuck have you done now? I'm gonna handle that stupid son of a bitch, okay? Do me a favor, keep this to yourself. The politics here, they can get messy. I thought you were the boss. There's four of us that run, Richmond. You need to impress the other three. Or you'll be back on the road by morning. Try not to stir things up. I can be impressive when I try. I'll follow your lead. Just don't get cute. I run security here. But it's not like my word is law. This shit with Badger doesn't make things any easier. Who's the fresh meat? Ava. This is my brother, Javi. The baseball brother? <laughs> no shit. What are the chances of you turning up on the doorstep? My brother talked about me. All the time, at the start. All good, I hope. I think you know the answer to that. Ava's my right hand. If there's anyone you can trust in Richmond, it's her. That woman, the fucking soldier. She was the first person I met up with after you and me got separated. I never would have made it without her. Gabe said you went back to the house at the start. I'm sorry I never found you. We waited for you for three months. Eventually the house was overrun and we had to move. Why didn't you come back? My ma and I got routed out of the city on the way to the hospital. It wasn't long before she... Poor mama. I couldn't get back into Baltimore, so I hooked up with my old unit. We thought we could build a safe zone outside D.C. After what happened to Mama and everyone else, I thought you were all dead. But you were taking care of them, weren't you? Somehow you found a way. The day Dad died, I promised I'd stick around. Be there for the family. Well, came my word. It took the end of the world, but you finally grew up. This is where they're treating Kate. Don't get comfortable. We're not staying long. Hey, kid. Got everything you need? Uh, yeah. This place is like a resort. Check it out, Javi. Noodles in a cup. We need to get you some real food. Stat, turn you into a soldier. <laughs> Javi, I'm glad you're okay. I'm a lot better seeing you. Damn, it's good to have you back. Look at this family. Look at my wife. Isn't she the most beautiful woman alive? Come on. 
With the lights off, you could mistake me for a walker. I'm pretty sure you have to say that. Doesn't make it not true. Uh, what, you okay? Uh, my... oh, shit. I'll get the duck. I'm fine. I just needed to talk to you, alone. I'm scared, Javi. More than I was the whole time on the road. Even when I thought I was going to die, everything inside me screams to get away from here. These people are killers. And David? Let's just get you better, Kate. The facility's here. I don't care about facilities. We did fine without them before. You didn't have a ruptured spleen before. These people nearly killed me, Javi. David's people. Have you forgotten, Mari? Of course not. It's always been you and me on the road, Javi. That's how we've made it this far. Please, promise me we'll go back to that. The first chance we get. This place. It's a cage. I'll find the way, Kate. You have my word. Rest up. You're gonna need your strength. Thanks. I feel better. Knowing we're in this together. But please hurry. I, I don't want to be left alone here. Feeling better? How you doing, sweetheart? David reported some pain. It's less now. Strange how it just comes and goes. What are you trying to say? I'm worried about her. That's all. Nothing to get worked up about. It's nothing to be alarmed about. Pain often comes in waves with abdominal wounds. I'll give you something to take the edge off, in case it comes back. Truly superlative work. I thought I'd have to operate, but all she needed was IV fluids and some antibiotics. How did you find someone with skills like these? A wound like this kills 9 out of 10. That would be Eleanor. One of my friends you threw in quarantine. Well, she's no use to anyone there. We should let her out. I'll vouch for her. Agreed. I'll have Ava bring her here. I want to meet this Eleanor. I'm sure she'll be an asset to our community. The rest of those guys can contribute, if that's what it takes to get free. They're all pretty handy in a fight. That's why they're all under guard. Javi and I have to go meet some people now. See if we can't prove he's worth a damn. We're gonna take real good carry. Okay? Send my apologies, David. I won't be able to make it. Feeling okay? Fine. I just want to keep an eye on my patient. The others know my vote is with you. Come on. Remember what I said. When we meet these guys, keep what happened to Mariana to yourself. Badger is one of my guys. And I will handle him. It may look pretty, but it's all sugars. There's no substance. It tastes pretty, Clint. That's all that matters. Ah, the brother. Javi, meet the guys. Clint runs food production. The crops you saw, that's him and his people. Jones, our bridge to the outside world. She handles contact with other settlements. Pleased to meet you, Javi. I trust you've been treated well. I hope you haven't been handled too roughly. Absolutely. I feel like I'm home at last. I hope Richmond can become your home. I know David would like that. And nothing pleases me more than seeing families reunited. <laughs> we were just about to eat. Clint was trying to convince me of the essential superiority of his cream spinach over my magnificent Black Forest Gateau. It's no contest. The spinach has real nutritional value. Javi, take a look at that table. You tell me what you'd rather put in your belly. Spinach from Clint's garden, or a baked delicacy by yours truly? Well, I'm with Clint. 
Gotta eat your greens if you want to grow up big and strong. Ah, exactly. <laughs> At least you're being honest. Please, make yourself comfortable. We value straight talk here, so please, forgive me if I seem direct. We're usually pretty strict about who we open our doors to. Your brother's word counts for a lot. Is that so? The three of us and Dr. Lingard make all the decisions here, so, yeah. People who choose to stay with us, they have to deal with us bossing them around. Not saying you wouldn't, but it can be an adjustment. Especially for the more independent-minded. No offense, but what qualifies you to lead? Testing us already? Just curious who's leading the troops into battle. Everything you see, we built ourselves. If that's not an endorsement, I don't know what is. When Joan and I met your brother, he was trying his hand at fruit. Fruit? We found him slowly murdering an orchard on the Shenandoah River. Hotty fucking ha. Huh? I helped him bring it back to life. We had a good run there. For as long as it lasted. What happened? What always happens. We trusted the wrong damn people. That's what led us to start this. Wondering what this fine piece of body art is all about? It's our litmus test for loyalty. That looks pretty intense. Doesn't it hurt? It's burned into your flesh. Of course it fucking hurts. It's a sign of commitment, not a Buddhist symbol from your year abroad. It was a crude answer to a difficult problem, and it hasn't always worked. Please understand. We had a terrible winter just after we moved here. We... we lost a great deal. Loved ones who left holes in our lives. Protecting my people from that kind of pain, that's what keeps me awake at night. It turned me into a perpetual night owl. I know it's a lot to ask. Funny you should say that. Some of your people, they keep me awake. In fact, some of them give me nightmares. My people? I'm sorry, Javi. I don't quite follow. Max? What are you doing here? I sent for him. Since when does he answer to you? From what I hear, he's well acquainted with your brother. They exchanged a few bullets outside our walls. Is that right? Is there bad blood between you and Max? Nothing that can't be worked out. If I were you, I'd get him away from me before I do something I regret. Javi, be cool. Try it and see what happens, boy. I was willing to let bygones be. Max, how did this start? Don't look at him. You have an obligation to tell the truth. We caught him siphoning gas from one of our vehicles. Max. Sorry, David. I know he's family, but your brother's a thief. Is it true? I was scavenging whatever I could find. I had no idea it belonged to you. If you just asked, we'd have given it to you. That, that's not all. He shot Rufus. In the back. You did what? You cold cocked me with your pistol. I woke up in a truck with cable ties on my wrists. That don't make it right. Rufus was bringing you here. We wasn't gonna hurt you. This is who you're asking us to vouch for, David? Seriously? You know we can't just open our doors to killers. We're trying to build something different here. Oh, for God's sakes, get off your high horse. Don't pretend like your people don't have blood on their hands. I'm not sure what you mean. We hold our people to the highest standards. Javi? You have something to say? One of your people, some asshole called Badger, he put a bullet in a little girl, my niece, David's daughter. What? Damn it, Javi, I told you I'd handle it. No, David, this cousin fucking dirtbag has the balls to accuse me. He and Badger destroyed an entire town. That's enough. No, we need to hear this. Go on, Javi. Sounds like you've got more to get off your chest. They used tear gas. There was nothing left of Prescott when they were done. Badger did that, not me. You were right there next to him. I tried to get him to stop, I swear. David, we warned you about getting your soldiers in line. We don't know all the facts. We know enough. She's right, David. You've lost control. I want them gone, all of them. Hey, Elijah. Take Javi and everyone in the quarantine to the gate. Send them out with enough weapons to defend themselves, but no more. 
Elijah, you should call me and then I want James to the call. Look, we can't fight this. Not now. Kate and Gabe will be safe here. Your doctor friend too. But the rest of you, you're gonna have to do what they say. I'm sorry. I can't leave Kate and Gabe alone. They won't be alone. I'll be here to take care of them. I can't help you now, okay. but maybe I can down the road. Just stay alive. Okay? You're lucky I don't gouge your fucking eyes out with my thumbs. You hear me, asshole? David packed this. He did. They said... Start walking. What about Eleanor? Walk. Eat shit. Answer my fucking question. God damn it, Harvey! Let go of me! Stop! You're gonna get us killed! Do not fuck this up. There's a settlement a few miles west of here. Don't come back. Did you piss in someone's oatmeal back there? Thought you were gonna play along. We trusted you. Ay, Dios mío. Do you ever shut up? Occasionally. Let's just see what they gave us. Knowing them, it's probably a butter knife and a stick of gum. They could've just shot us. More than once. Oh, how fucking neighborly. What's that? It looks like a map. I doubt they give one to everyone. Ava did say David packed the bag. Why the hell is it tied to a baseball bat? David's sense of humor was always poorly timed. Looks like they're expanding. Some of these areas are marked clear. Okay. There's Richmond. That helps. But we can't go back there. Well, knowing where it is lets us know where we are. Pretty sure David wants us to go there. And if this is us here, then I think we can head along this path. Just gotta head north. And to find north, we need to find the North Star. That's it. We need to go this way. What else is in there? Not a whole lot. Flashlight. Not enough weapons. No food. Let's go. Trip, come on. What's up? I can't lose anyone else. I'm telling you, I can't. Prescott, Conrad, maybe Eleanor. Look, I get it, but like it or not, this shit happens. We can stand around, drying each other's eyes, or we can get going. You're right. <sighs> Sorry, man. Rough day, to say the least. I know you got my back, and I got yours. Of course. After you. Why did like 
I gotta tell you, man, I thought you and Kate were, you know, I wouldn't have guessed she was married to not you. I ain't judging, mind you. I'm just curious. What's the story? Ain't my business, I know, but I... Hey, man, it's all right. Go for it. I do have feelings for her. Maybe I shouldn't, but that doesn't just make him go away. Uh, no harm in saying it. Hell, only real harms in not saying it when you should. It's always a mess, ain't it? What's that? Who you love, who loves you. If they're one and the same or otherwise. Well, if it wasn't messy, it wouldn't be important, right? Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Just saying, man. Three things that never hide forever. The sun, the moon, and the truth. I know Eleanor told you that she and I were... whatever we were, but... that's over now. I respect her wishes. I really do. I just wish my heart respected mine. Jesus got his eye on something. What you got for us, man? Listen. Tell me that isn't what I think it is. About a quarter mile out. Heading the same way we are. Well, we could hit walkers any second. We better scoot. Give me one we second. I don't know if I'm still streaming. My TV just randomly turned off. So if I'm still streaming, give me like a word. I'm waiting for my TV to turn back on. Sorry about that. Alright, I am back. Sorry about that inconvenience, guys. My TV just randomly turned off. Jesus got his eye on something. What you got for us, man? Listen. Tell me that isn't what I think it is. About a quarter mile out. Heading the same way we are. Well, we could hit walkers any second. We better scoot. Alive, people. I got
should be more careful with this. We're even now. I thought you were getting out of here. I was. The walkers are everywhere. I had to cover myself in walker guts to get away. Come on. We're heading to a factory nearby. Should be safe. I thought you were going to Richmond. New Frontier kick you out? Doesn't surprise me. Not one bit. No thanks to David. And no thanks at all. David? That asshole's still around? This is gonna sound really weird, but... He's my brother. What? Wait. This place we're going? David sent you there? It's supposed to be safe. Clem. You can't trust him, Javi. I learned that the hard way. I never wanted to need people again. But I had nowhere else to go. The New Frontier gave me this and made me one of them. They promised they'd help him. That turned out to be a lie. Clem. Dr. Lingard, what's the matter with you? I'm... I'm fine. Clem, please don't. The vancomycin... That's the last of it. It'll be wasted on AJ. I told you. It could save someone's life if used right. You don't know that for sure. Sadly, I do. It's my curse. Your curse? Knowing when someone's gonna die. I'm sorry, Clem. I tried everything. I... I really did. This will help him get better. Nothing can help your boy now. Clem, put the drugs back before anyone finds out you took them. I have to try. Look, AJ, a bunny rabbit. AJ, shh. What the hell is this? 
I told her it was a bad idea. Are you fucking high again? Pull yourself together before the others see you. Deal with the damn kid. What the fuck were you thinking? You were told those drugs couldn't help him. You stopped trying to help. I couldn't just sit here and watch AJ die. We stopped because he was a lost cause. That waste? That'll cost someone's life down the road. Someone in this camp. Someone who contributes to our survival. Come on, David. She was just trying to help her kid. We helped enough! We should have left him out in the woods a week ago! But look! It's helping! It doesn't work that way, Clem. You bought him a peaceful moment. <laughs> Nothing more. I wish I could tell you it would save him. Then it was worth it. I'd do it again in a heartbeat. Without a goddamn thought for anyone else. We opened our arms to you, made you one of us. This is how you repay us? By stealing? By putting yourself before the group? You're done here. You broke our rules, Clem. You know what? Fuck you. And fuck the new frontier. You already did. That's why you have to go. Maybe we should give her another chance. Don't fight me on this, Paul. You know what Joan would say if she were here. I'm sorry, Clem. You brought this on yourself. Come on, AJ. We don't need this place anyway. Uh-uh. He stays. Can't take him with you. Get out of my fucking way. Right now. Clem. He's in no condition to travel. Let him go, Clem. He'll only drag you down out there. What about this? What was it all for? Don't forget, I'm one of you. Not anymore. Let her say goodbye. We owe her that much, at least. Fine. You heard her. Say what you need to say, then you go. <laughs> really, Clem? <laughs> You're a piece of work, you know that? You deserve everything you get. I thought AJ would be the one. Finally. The one what? The one who didn't die. My little goofball. I survived. He didn't. That's... That's just the way it goes sometimes. This is what David circled on the map. Our smelly friends are back. Then push against this, it might give. Gotta find a way in. Locked. Shit. Look for another way in. It's our only chance. Come on, man. This thing ain't as strong as we thought. Hurry it up. I don't hear anything in there. Good enough for me. Pick up the pace, Hobby.
they come. I can... Uh, fuck! I can raise it a little, but... I don't know, something's wrong with it. Jammed or some shit. Maybe we can force it open. We're gonna have to. Too close. Hopefully that door holds him. Hey, I'm here! David! Don't you dare let that fucking baby killer in. <laughs> Don't make me do this. Clem. Don't do it, Javi! He'll die. He deserves worse. He has a son, Clem. Just like you did. The fuck? Open it. <laughs> what the hell are you doing here? Ask your brother. She's trouble. How could you do that to Clem? God, what if it had been Mariana or Gabe? What did she say? That you left her to die. No, we kicked her out. A little girl, all alone out there. Do you think Mariana could have survived that? We had rules. Clem broke them. I would have done the same to anybody. She knew what would happen. Don't feel sorry for her. To anybody, huh? You broke the rules for Kate and Gabe. And I'll accept the consequences. Unlike her. Did he suffer? Please. I have to know. No. I wouldn't have let him. But I didn't have to worry about that. He lived, Clem. He lived. But how? He was dying. Clem said so. AJ bounced back. He was stronger than we thought. It was... a miracle. You're lying. I wouldn't believe him either. What you believe doesn't change the fact. AJ is alive. Clementine, please, I'm telling the truth. Where? Where is AJ now? I don't know for sure. But he's in Richmond? Dr. Lingard took care of the boy. He'll know how to find him. 
Then I'm going back. None of us are going anywhere until the walker's clear. What's your plan, David? We store vehicle up this way. Provisions. I came to get you set up. And? And say goodbye. I don't want you to worry about Kate and Gabe. I'll take care of my family from now on. They'll be safe with me. Wait. This is a send-off? You're, you're just seeing me on my merry way. You think I want this? Well, you're not doing much to stop it. I don't see another way. Shit! Board it up. We need something to buffer. Something heavy. There! Help me! Wait a half second. Where'd you find this? Over there. Show me. What the hell is all this? These could come in handy. Don't want to just take them, but... I might be going crazy, but... I think these came from Prescott. That's Phantom Punch. I don't understand how all this got here. Like you don't know. Hey, none of this stuff was here before. I don't have a damn thing to do with it. We've only ever kept a few basic supplies here for scouts. Come on, David, don't play dumb. What are you suggesting? That I was part of looting Prescott? You must have known something. You think I condoned this? This is bigger than just Prescott. There's spoils from other towns here, too. Towns I heard got raided a while back. There, there's stuff here from the kingdom. Take cover. Fuck him. I'd do that little bitch again just to see her head pop. You sure as hell are stupid, ain't you? You only just realizing that now? I told you. Joan is on the warpath. Last thing we need is people getting wind of all this stuff. Look at all this shit. We're freaking rolling in it. I'll give you that. Just glad we found some more smokes. And now we get to see your head pop, you piece of shit. David! I thought better of you, Max. I really did. David, come on, man. We're a unit. There's no need for... Stop him! He's getting away! Go! Get Badger!
Anyways, welcome back, everyone. Um, yeah, so I got a little break. Guess I'll get back on. Um, that's so you tell me it only gives me like a second to go after that cub. All right, well that's stupid. That gas can down your throat and lit you up like a candle. But this will do. Goddamn guts out. I'm, I'm, fuck. You brought this on yourself, Badger. You had it coming a long time. Oh. <coughs> Bring it then. See if I can. See if I give a shit. Get it over with. Come on. What are you waiting for? We've got to move. No point drawing it out. <laughs> Richmond. Come on, David. This is Richmond. What's that supposed to mean? What's that supposed to mean? I ain't got nothing to say. Start talking, or I promise you, you're gonna scream. Okay, okay, take it easy. I'm waiting. Come on, man. It wasn't like we were doing this by ourselves. Joan was in on it. We did it on her orders. She... She said we needed it to survive. I wanted to let you in, but she told me you'd never go for it. I'm... I'm sorry. It is too late for sorry, you backstabbing shitbag. Please, don't kill me. I'll help you. I'll, I'll tell everyone in Richmond about this. I'll help you get back inside. We don't need your help. I'm begging you!
Where's Lonnie? He gave us the slip. Hightailed it back towards Richmond. Son of a bitch. If he warns Joan... What about the other two? Oh... What? It's good riddance. That son of a bitch killed Mariana. Did that make you feel better? I wouldn't shed any tears if I were you. You damn right it did. Bastard deserved everything he got. Be careful, Javi. Act like a beast. You risk what makes you human. Don't become the thing you hate. If he was stronger, he'd still be alive. He wasn't, so he isn't. That's that. Sometimes there's just no other way to make things right. My friend took a crowbar to someone once. My people need to know about what we found here. What about your missing friends? I'm surprised you care. Human life isn't exactly high on your list of priorities. Don't have time to keep looking. They'd want me to get home and warn them. You sure you won't stay? We need your help. So do others. I won't forget about you. You have my word. It's a shitstorm out there, man. I don't see how you're gonna make it. One step at a time. We need to get back to Richmond fast. I have loved ones in there. We both do. We all do. I gotta break Eleanor out of there. Once she's safe, I... I'm gonna tell her how I feel. You said it yourself. If it ain't messy, it wouldn't be important, right? We're gonna need allies in Richmond. Lingard and Clint, they're our best bet. If I can get to them before Joan does, maybe we have a chance. I know I was ready to say goodbye before, but I can't do this without you. Can I count on you? I won't be able to pull this off myself. Fine, but I expect first-class treatment when we're done. No more quarantine for me or my friends. Just the red fucking carpet. Of course. Whatever you need. Let's just get this done. If Lonnie raises the alarm, they'll be waiting for us at the gates. There's a way in round back that'll get us around any sentries. We can take Badger's truck. I doubt he'll mind. Come on. We gotta get on the move. Herd's closing in. I'm thinking this will go a lot better if we split up. A group this big can't exactly sneak around, particularly if they're expecting us. Eleanor's in there somewhere. I'm going after her. Lingard brought her to the clinic. That's your best bet. Javi, that's where you'll go to get Kate and Gabe. Then bring them to my house. It's the one with the raven on the hitching post. We'll all meet up there. After I pay a little visit to Joan. Stay out of sight. They'll be keeping an eye out for us. As soon as I can get Kate and Gabe, we'll see you back at the house. Roger that. I'll scout ahead. What about you, Clem? I'm pretty sure I've still got some friends in the New Frontier. If they know where AJ's being held, they'll tell me. As soon as I find him, I'm taking that truck and getting the hell out of here. Well... You are owed a vehicle. Keep an eye on David. He may be playing nice, but I'd still watch your back. I'm with you, Clem. He rubs me the wrong way. As soon as I get Kate and Gabe, I'm gonna figure out what's best for us. Well, I hope it involves getting far away from here. The only thing that matters is staying alive. See you when I see you. David said to hang a ride up at that corner. Seems clear so far. 
Let's move. You know Javi Garcia? Used to play shortstop for Baltimore. That Javier Garcia? That's who we're looking for? Yeah. That Javier Garcia. Anyway, sounds like some paranoid horse shit. Guy's a fucking ball player. There's the medical center. He's gonna go ninjas way back in here and stir up trouble. We go in, we get L, we get Kate and Gabe, we get out. What about our friends there? Doesn't exactly look like a welcoming committee. All right. Damn it. We need a distraction. How's your throwing arm? What the hell was that? Let's check it out. You go first. Still got it. Find out. Tell her we have to move, Kate. You got it. I'll meet you here. Javi! We thought you were... I was... super worried. We have to leave, Gabe. Now. Oh. Okay. I'm sorry. They said you guys were denied entry. It's true. We're on borrowed time. The people who run this place, they're ruthless. We have to move. Where's my dad? Is he coming? Don't worry, buddy. We're gonna go meet up with him. Excuse me? David has a house in town. He thinks we'll be okay there. Then let's go. Wait, Javi? While you were gone, this woman, Joan, came by. I felt like she was sizing me up. It was creepy. She implied David was in trouble. Like he was no longer in charge. She kept saying Gabe and I didn't need to worry, but it only made me worry more. Joan's a shrewd operator. You can't believe a word she says. That doesn't exactly put me at ease. It shouldn't. The thugs who shot you, answer to her. She ordered raids on other settlements. We found all this stuff from Prescott. She was behind Prescott? David's rounding up allies to confront her right now. Javi, I know you know this already. This is not our fight. We already lost Mari because of these people. Now, the whole place is about to become a war zone. It's David's fight, Kate. And we're in it with him. He needs our help. Kate, come You're on! You're not hearing me. This is not our problem. What's going on? Tripp said we had to move to David's house. We're not doing that. We're getting the fuck out of Richmond before it's too late. Getting out? You shouldn't even be sitting up. What? What about my dad? We can't just leave him. Gabe, we don't even know who he is anymore. We have to get away before he gets us all killed. But he won't know where we are. Again! I'm sorry, Gabe. But we have to get out of here. If we're leaving, I've got to get some things for the road. All my stuff is stashed in the room they gave me. I'll come with you. We'll catch up with you guys. Sounds good. Hey, what's up? Gabe, come help. I got it. Come on, buddy. I'm not going, Javi. What? I'm gonna find my dad. I have to. Gabe, please don't do this. I'm sorry. I love you, Uncle Javi, but this is something I have to do. Gabe, no! Kate, 
No. Please, Gabe. Please. I never thought I could be a mom. I never thought I wanted to be a mom. Until I met you and your sister. I'm begging you. Don't do this. It's my dad, Kate. I can't lose him again. And I can't lose you. Kate, we need to go. Now. Look at me, Gabe. Please. It's his father, Kate. It's what he wants. And this is what you want. What we want. We got so close in the last few years. I... I thought Gabe would want to stay with us. I really saw him as my kid. He's growing up fast, Kate. We have to trust him to do what's right. I know. It's just hard to say goodbye. I'd hold it there, folks. And I'd consider explaining yourselves. I'd talk fast. Fast and clear. Easy now. No need for violence. That's him, right? The brother? Thought so. Bring him in. Kate, run! I don't like your tone, David. If this is about your brother... Don't pretend like you don't know what this is about. You've got a lot to answer for. Me? You must be joking. What's this? They were trying to leave. Him and his lady friend. Leave? I asked you to get Kate and Gabe safe, not tuck your tail and run. Were you really gonna desert me when I needed you most? Richmond's not safe. It's no place for an injured woman and a boy. So you were just gonna leave me to it, huh? Where are they now? Girl got away. No sign of the kid. We'll deal with this later. And despite what we all agreed, you smuggled your brother back into Richmond. What happened to you, David? It hurts me to see you betray your own people. You've got some damn nerve. We used to be so close. Oh, you're one to talk. If anyone betrayed Richmond, it's you, Joan. What are you people talking about? So this is your play? First you accuse Badger, then you come after me. Would someone please explain what's going on? I can. Lonnie? Go ahead, Lonnie. Tell us. They attacked us. Murdered Max and Badger. You son of a bitch. They would have got me too. But I was lucky. Are you kidding me? You have the nerve to accuse us? Their bodies are in the factory. See for yourself. Why don't you tell them what you were doing up there, Lonnie? Tell them you to kill and loot. Is that true, Joan? <laughs> it's nothing but a smoke screen. A pretty damn transparent one, if you ask me. Lonnie, please tell me this isn't true. We did that. Raided those communities. Hurt those people. Because David told us to. Not Joan. 
I'm sorry, David. I can't do this anymore. You fucking liar. David had nothing to do with this. No. I am done lying. This is the first right thing I've done in a long time. This is bullshit. He's covering for Joe. David, just stop. We knew this couldn't last forever. We confronted him. Me, Badger, and Max. We were done. We let him know. He said he didn't need us anymore. Not with his brother here now. That's when he... That's when Badger and Max... That's enough! David, stop! Paul, you have to stop her. Or the blood from those raids, it's on your hands. Don't let Joan get away with this. Grow a fucking backbone, please! Stand up for what's right! I think you've caused enough trouble. Don't try and drag him into your mess. The things you've done, they're an assault on what we built here. You and your brother, you're going to have to answer for them. I still have friends here. Allies. This won't stand. You brought this on yourself, David. I'm sorry to say it, but you're done here. They were our family, David. How could you? Give you family! Okay, well that was an episode. This episode was an hour and a half long. So, I'll probably do the next episode. Previously, on The Walking Dead. No! You monsters! <laughs> You're a piece of work, you know that? Goddamn guts out! Joan was in on it. We did it on her orders. I'm, I'm sorry. It is too late for sorry, you backstabbing shitbag. I'll help you. I'll, I'll tell everyone in Richmond about this. We don't need your help. I'm begging you. <laughs> I'd hold it there, folks. And I'd consider explaining yourselves. I asked you to get Kate and Gabe safe, not tuck your tail and run. They were our family, David. How could you? Piece of shit! I'll give you family!
Strike one. I'm out of practice, that's all. Ah, same here. I haven't held a bat since the league booted me. Well, you got all afternoon to get back in your groove. <sighs> oh, yeah. Just holding this thing makes me feel better. You doing okay? Uh, I've been wrestling with something. Hey! Hey, man, you're Javier Garcia, right? The ball player? Can I get your autograph? <laughs> if you could sign my baseball, that would be so awesome. Sure thing, kid. Oh, man, thank you! Who do I make this out to? Oh, no, no, N no names. Band player signatures are worth way more on resale than personalized crap. Just your name is fine. D don't date it or anything. <sighs> Hope you like it. Oh, yeah! I might get ten bucks for this! You gotta keep those fans happy, big star. Let's get back to baseball. It's out of here. Holy cow. You just had to rub it in, didn't you? Does talking like that make you feel better? Yeah. You should try it. <sighs> Son of a bitch. Strike two. Man, knock that shit off. I'm serious. You just talk, talk, talk. Jeez, you gotta learn to relax, David. What do you suggest? Put some money on it? You know I don't do that anymore. I still can't believe you actually wanted to come here. If I were in your situation, I'd avoid batting cages forever. Well, thanks for bringing me anyway. I needed the distraction. Oh, Garcia's on fire! I think your ego's boosted plenty. Next time, we go to the shooting range. I don't really shoot. But I do. And I'm good at it. Shut up. Stupid thing. Garcia takes one for the team. That's gotta hurt. God damn it, Javi. I fucking warned you. I remember I showed you how to play this game. Well, let this superstar return the favor. Watch this. Oh my god, the crowd is going wild. I got it. You don't have to rub it in my face. I'm done. David. You're leaving already? You said you were happy, so I'm done here. Come on, I thought we'd hang out all day. I'm not gonna spend all day as your cheerleader. You're a grown-up, and I've had enough. What's going on? David, I, I don't understand. You don't understand because you only think about yourself. And I'm sick of it. It's been that way for years. Oh, take a breath. I'll hear you out, but this doesn't have to be an argument. I'm worried about you, man. I can't be the star's older brother anymore. I gotta go where I can be my own man. My job sucks. Kate and I fight like cats and dogs. I belong back in the army. I had a purpose there. Hey, you know what? Yeah, do what you need to do. The army could be good for you. I was expecting more of an argument. Things between me and Kate have been going downhill for a while. But if I left, it seemed like that would be best for everyone. I can't keep pretending this is the life I want. I'm not gonna stand in your way. Well, all right then. I'm not gonna lie. If I go, it's gonna be hard on everyone. Kate may need help from time to time. You can help, right? You won't leave her hanging? I need to know that. In my mind. I'll be there for them, since you won't. If you want to go, she should go. <sighs> Thank you. I really mean it. We good? Yeah. We good. Come on. Let's get out of here. Buy your beer.
Get in there, you two. Joan's gonna figure out what to do with you. She's making a huge mistake. No, you made a mistake when you murdered Lonnie. Hey, everybody just take a breath, all right? I was just trying to tell them... And that's your mistake right there. You can't fight everybody. Understand that Joan's not looking for revenge. She just wants order. Cooperation is the name of the game. There's still a way through this, but you've got to let Joan enforce the laws. I know you Richmond folks are a little flexible when it comes to doing what's right. I don't buckle just because it's the easy thing to do. You talk a big game, but talk isn't going to get you out of this mess. You boys want to make it out of here. Just relax and trust in the process. After I brought you in, after I saved your asses, this is how you treat me. Betrayal? Lies? David, I'm not your enemy. We have to figure out what to do about Joan. Joan's betrayal wasn't as bad as yours, little brother. Do you have any understanding of what they're doing to me? I'm being set up, and I don't even want to think about what they'll do when they find Kate. I could have found a way to protect all of you, but now? Now you're all on your own. You gotta still have some friends here, right? I thought Lonnie was a friend. He turned on me. And you shot him. Any friends you haven't killed, haven't killed you yet. It's everyone out for themselves these days. We wouldn't be in this situation if you paid attention to what Joan was up to. I did my best. I have always done my best. Can't say I never tried. I have always given 100%. Oh yeah? Tell that to Kate. You left her behind once already. Maybe it's time you try a different way. Shut up! <laughs> You're dead to me. If we get out of here, you're on your own. I'm through with you. Typical brothers, fighting like boys. You bitch. I fucking trusted you! Careful! Don't give him a concussion. I came here to talk, not fight. You're not going to be a problem, are you? I just want a calm discussion. If you thought David was a problem, I got news for you. I'm even worse. <laughs> oh, please. Eh, people had concerns about me coming here after the way you murdered Lonnie, David. But I know what the real danger here is. And you need to hear about it. We both know the real danger here is you. I'm not sure what kind of person you imagine me to be, but it's not true. Those raids were unfortunate, but necessary. The real danger was another long winter. I should have been told about this. David, you remember how many friends we lost last year. I couldn't bear to see it happen again. Tomorrow morning, I'm gonna call for a gathering in the square. The people deserve to hear a full explanation of your arrest. And then? Then, you'll be replaced as head of security. No one's above the law, David. Not even you. I know the laws, Joan. You're the one breaking them. Your scheme is gonna blow up in your face. You just wait. I really hope not. I'm responsible for the lives of everyone in this community. You set me up! Everyone's gonna see through your lies! I did what I had to do to keep the people of Richmond safe. They're going to see that. And they'll also see that the biggest threat to them right now is you. Bullshit! I understand you're angry with me, but let's talk about it in private. Bring him with us. Screw this. Gotta get out of here. Getting out through here. No one's out there. Ugh, 
nothing useful here. Hmm. I'm not gonna get up there from this bench. doesn't look very sturdy. That's not gonna work. Could squeeze through there. I wasn't sure how I was going to find you. Then I heard the glass breaking. You're alive. For now, you escaped the guards. Barely. We gotta get you out of here. Take this. Help me pry these bars off. <clears throat> Shit. Give it a push from your side. Thanks, Kate. Now, give me a hand. What's all that noise? It's a herd. They've got this place surrounded. Come on. This way. Where are you taking me? Eleanor found a place. Gabe's there with the others. We've been hiding out there. For as long as we can, anyway. Thank God for Eleanor. She's a lifesaver. Literally. We all owe her. We should probably keep moving. Where are the patrols? Oh, they're around. I had some close calls on my way to find you. Almost got caught. But I got lucky. You must be feeling better if you're sneaking around like this. I'm not, really. But I'll get my rest when we're safe. All clear. Come on. Just in my opinion, but I feel like this season has a lot more cutscenes. And a lot of more of it yeah. is like cutscenes than it is actual How's playable story. I feel like there's like four to five I actual playable scenes anymore. and the rest of it's just dialogue. Don't second guess yourself. You did the right thing. Maybe you're right. I hope David forgives me. Let's 
move. Okay, lead the way. They're gonna be looking for you soon. It's only a matter of time before they find the room empty. I won't let them catch us. Because I'm coming for them first. That doesn't sound like the smartest thing I've ever heard, Javi. That's Eleanor's place. There's a lot of activity all of a sudden. I don't like this. Come on. Let's get inside. Hey, buddy. It's good to see you, Avi. Really, your goofy face and everything. I didn't expect to find you here. I mean, Kate said you were here, but I thought... I went looking for my dad, but I couldn't find him. I just can't do this now. Oh, hey. Uh, hey. Trip, look who's here. Hey, guys. Uh, hey, <clears throat> where have you been? You guys need some time, or...? No, it's cool. It's fine. What is going on here in Richmond? You know more about this place than the rest of us. Joan lied. She's trying to remove David from power. Told you we couldn't trust him. I want to go save my dad. Right now. He needs our help. Or are you just gonna run away again? Have you guys even looked out the window? Go look for yourself. Oh. Holy shit. Ha. 
Avi, even if you did get your brother free, you're not going to be able to go anywhere. Wow. As much as I don't want to be here... You sure are glad we didn't stumble into that on our own? <sighs> Fuck. Yeah. Can you imagine? Would have been worth risking it to get away from all this. Be able to start fresh. You and me. That's brave. Stupid. But brave. It seems like we're in danger within this place and without. I, for one, would feel a whole lot safer with a few more guns to protect ourselves. That the smartest move to make right now? That's crazy. He's my brother, Kate. I have to. Okay. We have to rescue David. I know where there's guns. My dad showed me. There are lots. I can take us. Okay. Sounds like a plan. We'll get back here as soon as we can. Good luck. Come here. Kate, I... Just be careful. Look, Javi, I, I don't know if you heard us, but I think I fucked it up with Eleanor. We can talk on the way. I, about that, I, I don't think I can leave this apartment with things like this between me and her. It's just not right. I know you must have at least heard something. I don't really want to get involved. I get that. There's not really anybody else I can talk to. Just shouldn't have pushed it with her like I did. Wasn't fair. Too much going on already, right? Javi, come on! Just give us a minute, pal. I'm sorry, buddy. I just I don't know what to do. Just follow your heart. That's all any of us have left anymore, right? Thanks, man. I'll talk it over with Eleanor and watch over things here. You've got my word. I won't let anything happen to anyone. Thank you. Javi, come on! Good luck. Stay alert. Be careful. You'll be fine. Okay. This'll be great. We got this. Slow down, buddy. I've done this before, Avi. No, you haven't, Gabe. Not really. Some decisions, you make them in a split second, and then have to carry them the rest of your life. You understand? What do you mean, Avi? Just be careful. People aren't muertos. They can shoot at you. I know. Then you know to be quiet and stay hidden. So... We stay hidden and quiet? If we could just slip past quietly, it'll make our job a lot easier. Okay. We don't want to make any noise and attract any attention. Hey, I can go talk to him while you sneak inside. I'll distract him. It's a good idea, Gabe. I, I can do this. Hey! Oh, hey. I saw something. Show me.
told you it would work. Good work, buddy. It's down here. The guns are through that door. Locked. No time to look for a key either. I have to do this the hard way. Put these in your bag. We've never done this before. Just you and me. We make a pretty good team, right? The uncle nephew one two punch. Yeah, we do. Drop it. What the hell are you doing here? What are you doing with all that? We're trapped here in town. There's a herd at the gates. No matter what's going on out there, I need to be able to protect my family. Javier, that herd is the least of your fucking problems right now. It was a shit thing to do, fucking off on me like that. I know. I... Why didn't you meet me at the stronghold? We had a plan. My brother is in over his head and the water is rising. He needs our help. You're damn straight he does. But why should I trust you now? As far as I can tell, you're nothing but trouble. Because what Joan is doing is wrong. I guess I can't really say no to that. And it looks like you could use all the help you can get. Awesome. I gotta grab something else real quick. Meet me by the front at five. Okay. Come here. You're bleeding. Are you okay? Oh my God. I'll be fine. Are you sure? I'm so sorry. Yes, I'll be fine. Don't worry about it. We have to get back to the others. Jeez, I can't leave you guys alone for two minutes, can I? He's still alive? Yeah. Just passed out. Starting to think siding with you might have not been the best idea. Toss Sleeping Beauty in the closet so nobody sees him. Let me see that wound. It's really bleeding. You're gonna need that taken care of. Shit. No, 
It's okay. Lingard and David are close friends. We can count on him to help you. Medical facility is right nearby. It'll be quiet this time of night, too. Okay, but let's be quick. Can they really hit targets over a mile away? Not these, but some models. Javi, it's probably best if Lingard doesn't see these guns. He and David might be tight, but he's still part of Richmond's leadership council. I'll keep watch with Ava. Okay. Do any of them have laser sights? Clem? <gasps> Shit, Javi, what happened to you? Ran into a little trouble. Wow, that looks like it must have hurt. I just need to get it cleaned up. You surprised me. Thought you were someone else. Thought you'd be long gone by now. <sighs> so did I. But I still need to talk about AJ with Lingard. Look at him. Anyway, I can't leave Richmond with that herd out there. Something tells me Lingard doesn't care what you're doing. He's been out of it since I got here. He's alive. Poor dumb bastard. That's gonna need more than just cleaning, Javi. I can stitch that for you. I can't promise it'll look great once it heals. It's better than nothing, though. Well, I don't think he's up to the job, so... You'll be fine. I've dealt with worse. Huh. Let me see if I can find a needle and thread for that. <clears throat> Clem, are you okay? I'm fine. I started bleeding. I know, it's a thing. I've traveled with women before, and, and they all had it. What is it? I mean, like, why is it... I just don't understand. If you didn't want to know, you shouldn't have asked. I can take you back to Kate. She can help you with, uh... Javi, worry about yourself right now. We need to find a needle and thread to stitch you up first. Oh, uh, right. Wake up! Talk to me! Wow, that guy is really out of it. Cody? Hmm. Not much left. It looks like painkillers are in high demand. I wouldn't steal any medicine if I were you. It really doesn't go over well. Well, these could come in handy. Penicillin. Not what I'm looking for. Jackpot. Needle and thread. All sterilized and ready to go. <sighs> Just pills. Here we go. Hey, 
This is just what you're looking for. They help you handle it. Kate will take care of you. I think I remember how to do this. Okay, hold still. Try not to breathe. Thank you for, you know, all that. I know I'm not the best person for this. I always hoped Kate would talk to Mariana, and I'd just be there for support. You weren't so bad. Basically, all this means is you could become a mom, if you wanted. Funny. I already felt like a mom. Jane said I was more of a mom than she'd ever be. <sighs> this stinks. Literally and figuratively. At least this is the last of them. From here on out, we have housed to ourselves. Sounds nice, right? Now we just need some disinfectant. Get that smell out of there once and for all. Sounds great. Just you, me, and the goofball. Kind of shit Kenny was capable of. Carver deserved what was coming to him, of course, but that's just brutal. I don't know how you could even watch that. It must have been brutal. And the sounds he must have made. Ugh. He did so many bad things to so many people. I wanted to see him suffer for it. Let's get out of here. Never want to look at that sick fuck's body again. Here, take a load off. I've got the little goofball. Hope he hasn't eaten too recently. He hasn't. Good. The last thing I need is to be covered in puke again. Don't puke on me, kid. You hear me? I taught you. Sweep and stand. We can get out this way. You know, I was pretty worried about you back there. But I guess I didn't need to be. You had things handled. Like usual. I didn't mean to worry you. It's okay. You're safe. That's what matters. If only Rebecca could see you two together. You guys don't even need me. They just get in the way. You're more than capable on your own. You proved that back there. Go on, take it. 
take him? He wants his other mom. Thanks, Clem. We'll always have each other. As long as we have that, we'll be okay. Whoa there, Clem. It's just me. What the hell do you want? I know how pissed you are, Clementine. Spitting on David really got that message across. Believe it or not, I'm actually sorry about what happened. It wasn't easy for any of us. You have to believe that. You're sorry? I know how much you must be hurting right now. But if you were really sorry, you'd give AJ back. I promise you, it'll get easier. Look, it's not much, but... Here. David wanted you to have that. AJ drew it just after you... It calmed him down. <laughs> we just thought you'd want something to remember him by. Listen, it's dangerous out here, and right now, you're hurting. Whatever you do, you can't let what happened get to you. You need to keep a level head. Plan for after that. You're strong, but that won't get you far if you don't know what you're doing. Or where you're headed. Oh, I'll keep fighting. You guys gave me no other choice. It's not time for that anymore, Clem. Your focus has to be on you now. That's all you can do. For me, staying alive has always been about finding people I could trust as much as they trusted me. That's what the new frontier has been. A silver lining. Made me feel worth a damn. Kept me going in the worst of times. You'll find yours. I know you will. Someone or something. I used to have Lee. You never mentioned him. He took care of me for a while. Every time I would look at AJ, I could hear him in my head, helping me, guiding me. He's still with you, you know, here. So is AJ. From the first time we met, right here, surrounded by absolute hell, you and AJ were a light in the darkness. Hope for a better world. That's who you are. Promise me you'll never lose that light. Please. It's what makes you special, Clem. Okay, I promise. You're a tough kid. Don't change. I should get back before anyone notices I'm gone. Remember to keep the focus on you now, Clem. And when you need a little extra support, there's an old airfield about 10 or so miles south of here. Prescott. There are good people there. I'm sure they'll help you out. 
I'll miss having you around, Clem. You're going to be okay. Thanks, Ava. Good luck out there, Clem. That's what keeps me going. There's things I have to stay alive to do. <sighs> so, what do you think? I think I'm getting better. That was fast. There's not much to it. The wound was pretty clean. You coming? I still have to ask Lingard about AJ. <sighs> Hello, Clementine. Javier. Hell with David. There any chance he got out too? I hate to think about what Joan might do to him. There's a chance, but I don't know how good it is. They separated us, and I don't know where they took him. Figures. You, you were lucky, that's all. When Joan wants something, she, she gets it. Can't say the same for me. Why do you care if David got out? He deserves what's coming to him. If you think that, you don't know David. I know he's the reason I lost AJ. When AJ recovered, David was the one who stepped up. Took personal responsibility for that kid. You say that like it's a good thing. I really doubt he was a positive influence. David's the reason the kid's better off now than he's ever been. You can be as mad as you want about how, about how things panned out. Clem can be the judge of that. She doesn't need to be. As a doctor, I'm telling you, he's in better shape now than when I first saw him. That was because he was sick. He would have stayed sick too if I had listened to you, doctor. I stand by what I said. If David's taken such good care of him, why did he tell me to ask you where AJ is? That's what this is about, then? You... You want to know where the boy is? What do you want? I... I just want to die. I want you to inject this into me. Are you crazy? That's just the way it is. When your brother found me, he... He got me to care about everything I'd given up on. My life. Other people. Even this goddamn place. Without him around. I don't want to care anymore. Just tell me where he is! Then you won't have any reason to do it. to know. I'm sorry, Clem. We can't do this. No, I have to. If you won't, I will. Clem, stop. He's not in his right mind. You can't do this. <clears throat> Let go of me. I'm taking the deal. We'll find AJ, just not this way. There is no other way. Where is... You can consider the deal. Oh. No! Javi! How could you? So be it. 
It's your funeral. Especially now. Now that Jones rounding up all alleged traitors. You better hope she doesn't find you. Hang in there, buddy. Oh, hey. Uh, hi, Clementine. Surprised to see you here. Yeah, right back at you. You all good? Yeah, we're all set. Let's roll. Mm, good to see you. You're back! And Clementine. Thanks for the warm welcome. Just surprised to see you is all. Guys, this is Ava. Oh She's... yeah, I know who she is. She's got a hell of a punch. Nice to meet you. Good to see you, Ava. Oh, hell. You okay? Yeah. It looks worse than it is. Don't worry about it. Kate's lying down in the other room for a bit. So you got the guns, huh? We got them, all right. One for you, and one for you. I saved this one for you. No, I've already got one. Actually, it wouldn't hurt to have another. Thanks. What took you so long? We went to see Dr. Lingard. At night? I'm kind of surprised he was sober. It's got to be a stressful job, looking after an entire community. He was definitely not 100% there, that's for sure. Sounds about right. Why don't you go talk to Kate, OK? OK. The sun will be rising in a few hours. Jones people know we're holed up here, and they're gonna come looking for us. All of us. Ah, for fuck's sake. Maybe it's not as bad as we think. Fucking figures. And there's no going anywhere with those things blocking our exit. They like me, that has to help somehow. Just cause they like you, doesn't mean they're gonna like the rest of us. We're sitting ducks up here. We've still got time to get in front of this before Joan can do anything. Yeah! Now, I don't know about you, but I'm not gonna sit around and wait for her to find us. I'm liking the cut of your jib, Javi. We can't just cut and run, not with the herd out there. Like it or not, we're fucking stuck in Richmond. Now, how the fuck are we gonna put the brakes on this thing? Joan and her people are going to be at the square, right? We need to bring the fight to them. We go after Joan, our problems are solved. Great. So, how do we do that? It's a good question. Joan will probably have a full security detail with her. If there are good people left in Richmond who are against what Joan's doing, we need to ask for their help. If we can talk to the people at the trial, present the case to everyone in Richmond, we might not have to do this on our own. We light the match, the people do the rest. After we take Joan out, we're gonna need some way out of this mess. Now, I don't know about the rest of you, but I'm not much of a runner. We've got a truck, a big one, that we used to use for walker defense. It's a little busted up, but it's way better than nothing. People are gonna be patrolling these streets looking for us. How far away is this truck? I'll show you. We've been expanding, pushing out further, making the safe zone even bigger. Can't promise you they've cleared all the walkers yet, but that's where the truck's parked. <laughs> I could spit and hit it. We steal that thing, nothing will be able to stop us. Steal what? Hey. Jesus, Javi, is that blood on your shirt? You said it wasn't that bad. It isn't. How the hell did this happen? Oh, you're bleeding right through that bandage. You should have told me as soon as you got in. Things went a little sideways at the end. Gabe got in the way. A guard came after me and he stabbed me in the shoulder. Oh, I thought you guys were gonna be careful out there. Hey, hey. Don't worry about it. It is what it is. Thought you knew what you were doing. You're still alive, aren't you? Eleanor. Can you take a look at this? As long as he keeps it clean, 
It should be okay. Would you guys stop making such a big deal about it? It happened. It's over. Move on already. I'm just trying to make sure he's okay, Gabe. What we need to be talking about is the plan. Oh, I have a bunch of ideas. I want to be the one to go after Dad. Just give me a gun and I'll do whatever. Hey, 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 slow down, would you? You're getting way ahead of yourself. Who's to say you're even coming along, kid? Are you fucking kidding me? Ugh, this is bullshit! I'm not staying behind. Gabe, take a breath. He's my dad. I'm going. It's going to be dangerous out there, and I don't want anyone else getting hurt. If we get to save dad, then getting hurt is worth it. It's worth dying for. This is more important to me than anyone else. I've got a gun, and I know how to use it. You're out of control, Gabe. First the shit at the armory, now this? How am I supposed to trust you to do anything? How are any of us? Nobody here is gonna let you be a martyr, Gabe. Your life is precious. Life is precious? Then how come you shot Conrad, huh? Back in the tunnel, when he came after us, he tried to bargain with you. I saved your life too, in case you didn't remember that part. So what? You shot him. You killed him. What the fuck, Javi? Is she telling the truth? You murdered my friend? What the fuck did you do that for? You looked me in the eyes, man. He had a gun on them. If I hadn't killed him, he was gonna shoot Clementine and Gabe. He's telling the truth. When Conrad found out that I used to run with New Frontier, he went crazy. He would have pulled the trigger, no question. I guess we'll never know, right? Because he's not here to tell his side of things. You made sure of that. Looks like you're a pretty fucking dangerous person to be around, Avi. First you kill my friend, then you get me and my friends on Joan's shit list? I think you need to give us some space, Javi. Fuck that. I don't want to see you ever again. Well, maybe I'd be better off with Joan. At least I know she wants to stab me in the back. You get the fuck out and you stay gone, or I can't be held accountable. You feel me? We can take care of ourselves. Fuck off. All of you. If you don't think I fucking agonized about it, then you can all go to hell. We better go get that truck. I'll, uh, get my stuff. Then call you on the... Milwaukee when I see things getting started in the square. with me to get the truck you guys hang back here be ready for anything I see what's going on you're punishing me because I told everyone what you did right screw that I'm going to get the truck 
You stay behind and keep watch. You proved your fucking point already, Gabe. Now it's time to grow up and help us. Hey, Gabe. Come on. I need you to watch my back on this one. Yeah. Okay. I guess somebody needs to be a lookout. What? Nothing. Gabe and I will be fine back here. going on thanks for what helping out with Gabe he's having a rough time yeah we all are I'm just doing what I can let's keep looking for that truck you got it guess they'll be using that for construction once they've cleared this area Chances. I'd say about 50 50. Smart ass. They say I'm going to take a minute to finish up here. People keep getting pushed onto other projects. Who wants to be nice? Hell yeah. This graveyard ship is killing me. Oh, let me get some air. Early risers. Come on, we gotta hurry and finish before more people wake up. What are we gonna do? Can't start the engine, not without attracting a lot of attention. Kate, you steer. The rest of us are going to get behind the truck and push. See if we can't get some distance between us and them. Ready? Ready. Ready. You needed me after all, huh? I'm just saying, I know you didn't want me to come along. I'm glad you were here, okay? At least you can admit it. Yeah. Well, it turns out you're pretty useful when you actually follow directions. Don't think those guys will be able to hear the engine all the way over here. I put it in neutral. Couldn't find an ignition key in there. Guess you'll have to hotwire it. Try not to shock yourself. Shit. I'll need something to strip the wires. They left all their supplies lying around. Bet there'll be some tools out there somewhere. Just try to hurry, okay? there. 
Keep an eye out while I get it started, okay? I'll check on the guys in the office. Clem and I will look out for walkers. Okay. Here goes. Cutter should help with this. Gotta connect the battery to the ignition. Let there be light. The square is a couple of blocks away. This is a good place to wait. Do we have enough gas? Well, I'm not about to turn the engine off again. What now? We wait for Ava to call us on the walkie. So, nothing for us to do but sit and watch the sun come up. Well, I know we've got something important to do. I'm teaching you to play Euchre. <sighs> That's not a real thing. It's a card game. Come on, it's fun. It's nice to be driving around with a couple kids in the back seat again. Really Where takes you back, doesn't it? Just you and me and Gabe and Mari. You're right. This is nice. Like if I just close my eyes, we're right back where we were. All of us together. Do what I do. Try to think about the nice stuff. Not everything that happened after. <laughs> Gotcha. Oh, come on. That's not even a good rule. Still gotcha. Guess he stopped playing it cool with her. Hmm? Uh, in case you haven't noticed, Gabe's got a little crush on Clementine. He like likes her. You get it? I hope it works out for them. I really do. They're good for each other. I think. Think their first official date will be target practice? Then skinning and eating a wild animal. Ah, uh, young love. It's so normal, you know? Like, as crazy as things get, as terrible and tragic and just plain stupid, there's nothing more wonderfully ordinary as two kids falling for each other. Not that they're there yet, but to feel something that intensely for another person is it bad if i kind of envy them those early days before you get up the courage to say exactly what's on your mind you never get those back do you no no you don't it's unfair that's all i'm saying that they're feeling what they're feeling right now and when that sun gets a little higher it's right back to the fight <sighs> i just wish he could have had a childhood, you know? I wish I could have given them that. Him and Mari, both. That's why we're doing this thing, right? So he can have a better life after everything's said and done? You're right. I know you're right. I hope you know, Javi. Having you there with me, right by my side, all this time... That's what made the difference. You're so sure of what you're doing all this for. 
You didn't run away. You could have. I think that's just you know, who I am, you know? Not who I am now, at least. I get it. There's no graceful way to say this, so I'm just gonna say it. I know we've had moments, you and I. And there are always a little hot and a little confusing and maybe some of them haven't meant anything at all. But before whatever happens tomorrow happens, I need you to know whatever this thing is between us, I want to give it a chance. And I know the fact that David is back in our lives now makes this whole thing a little more complicated. But do you feel the same way? I'd really like to know before things get crazy. We might not get another chance. <laughs> Let's go for it. We gotta try, right? Oh my god, really? Really. So are we gonna... Okay. Yeah. Shit. We're doing this. You do realize we're gonna have to have a weird conversation with David, right? It's the right way to play this. He already got the sense I was pulling away. I just want to be able to tell him in person. It'll feel better that way. That would be the stand-up thing to do in this situation. Can I just say how lame doing the stand-up thing is, though? Oh, it's super lame. Javi, it's an execution over here. She's planning to hang David in front of the whole crowd. You've got to get over here now. Don't bring the truck. If they see it, they'll kill him right away. If you can just get into the square... Shit. We got to get over there. Now. here with the truck keep the walkie close by we'll tell you as soon as we've got david good luck nothing else from ava nope and it sounds like a crowd out there it sounded like ava got cut off by something or somebody wish we had some idea of what we're heading into Like, is the whole plan shot? Or did she just have a little setback? Ava could be having problems with the walkie-talkie. Maybe it's out of range, or ran out of batteries or something. Maybe. We're not gonna know what went wrong until we actually do this thing. So, let's do it already. You ready? We just have to remember. We're people. Not muertos. We're smarter than they are. And we need to act like it. Exactly. We've got to take the time to think things through. for the others, can we? For years now, Richmond has been governed by one simple principle. Strong council, strong community. But, unfortunately, the actions of one of the members of that council, our security expert, David Garcia, have put us all She's in danger. She's lying to all of you. I'm sorry to have to show you this. Truly, I am. But you all need to see. Just look what he's done. He murdered these men in cold blood. I saw him murder Lonnie with my own eyes. Some of the best men I ever knew cut 
down in their prime. Is this who we want in charge? Someone this reckless, this cruel? Not if I have anything to do with it. I can't believe this is really happening. She's gonna kill him. She can't do this to him. I think she's bluffing. It's a scare tactic. There's no way she's really gonna execute David. Are you sure? I hope you're right. Javier! I heard you were planning to crash our little party. Why did you come on up here? Show your face to everyone. I'm sure these people would like to hear what you have to say. Fuck that, and fuck you, Joan. I don't have anything to say to someone who shit talks my family. Don't make this harder on yourself, Javier. Get up here, now. She knows we're here now. We might as well. I had a very interesting conversation with your friend, Eleanor, last night. Isn't that right, Eleanor? We did. She said you were coming here to rally the people against me. Convince them that I was no good for Richmond. Don't know how you thought you were going to pull it off. And that's exactly what I'm planning to do. Appreciate the honesty. Which makes this so much harder. Here in Richmond, people who put themselves before... Give me one moment, guys. Anyways, anyways, welcome back everybody. I am back. Sorry about that little wait. For the group, don't last long. Bring them out. Get away from me. You're making a mistake. Ava! Oh no, they had them this whole time. David wanted to tear this whole place down. He told his people where to find our gun supply, and sure enough, they picked us clean. You really thought you could ride into town and stage a coup? With our own damn weapons? Something like that? I can't just let it go. You've put me in a no-win situation here. So I'm gonna do the same thing to you. Both of them deserve to die for their crimes. However, Javi, I'll let you spare one of them. Just one. No! Hell no! Joan! Don't! Not after what they tried to do. You may be guilty of bringing them into this, but they chose to go along with it. Is this the kind of leadership you've got in store for Richmond? 
Torturing people with your stupid power games? Justice isn't a game, Javi. It's about time you learn that. Joan, are you sure about this? We never agreed to killing all these people. It's really up to Javi, isn't it? All eyes are on you. Maybe this will help you make up your mind. Boys? <gasps> Come on, Javi. Who's it gonna be? Your friend or your brother's lieutenant? Oh, come on! This is fucking stupid! Let Ava live. She's always been loyal. Javi! No! Well, there's the Javi I know. Backstabbing, double-crossing, no-good, dirty fucking murderer! Such language. But I admire the sacrifice you're making here, Javi. Shoot her! Wait! I said don't shoot Ava! You did, but there's something else you need to understand. Betrayal. Joan! Think about what you're doing. Ava's one of us. You can't fucking do this. This is fucked. I can do anything I want. You brought this on yourself. Do it. Joan. No! Oh my god. They really shot her. Oh, god damn it. Now, David, it's your turn. I can't believe this. This isn't how we do things. This is madness. Stop her, Clint. Is this the process you trusted? No. Think about this, Javi. You know what's gonna happen here. You ready for that? We don't murder in Richmond. We exile. That's how we've always done things. How about you take David and the rest of your people and just get the hell out? Go far away from Richmond and then whatever you do is up to you. I'm sure the herd outside would like that. She thinks she's sending us out there to die. She's counting on it. Everybody put your guns away. We're gonna handle this peacefully. Don't listen to them, Javi. They're fucking butchers, all of them. Shoot that bitch. Take her out. She deserves it. Go to hell, Joan. Things right. Okay. He needs you, not me. Go on. Thanks.
Get over there before... Are you kidding me? Well, that was a um, interesting episode, to the least. These episodes are getting longer. That was a two. No, that was yeah, two and a half hour. No, so the first episode was an hour. Yeah, that was an hour and a half episode. So that was like, getting longer. Um. So yeah, these episodes are um. These episodes are getting longer, which is kind of nice, but uh, this ending was uh, very uh, abrupt, and I am kind of sad. We'll continue this tomorrow. Um, as you can see, just look at my choices. So, yeah. That was um, my choices, and um, yeah, so we'll continue this tomorrow, we'll finish this tomorrow, and then we'll start on season 4, hopefully start season 4 tomorrow. I will be making, uh, I'll probably finish up season season 3, and then I'll end the stream on season 3, and then we'll start up season 4. Uh, this has been a really fun playthrough with you guys, and I'm kind of sad that it's over, because, um, you know, this is... Uh, a really good game, and I'm, I really did like it, and so, I'm going to be sad <laughs> when this is over, but, um, let me know in the comments if y'all want to see me play Michonne, because, um, because, you know, I do have the Michonne playthrough, and I, so, let's see, yeah. So I have yeah. So I have Michonne. So after I finish up season four, uh, let me know if y'all do want to play Michonne. As uh, I don't know if there's something I'd be interested, but if y'all want to see it, I will end up playing it. And then also in episode one, the wa original Walking Dead. Oh, let me see if it's loaded. It's hard to load time. There should be four hundred days, if I'm not mistaken. So, also let me know. So, let me know if you also want to play that, because, uh, I feel like it would be a, uh, Oak. It's like 400 Days would be a cool episode, but I already played the Season 2, and I'm already almost done with Season 3, so it wouldn't really have impact on my uh, choices per se in Season 2, so, you know, but. We'll finish up season four and we'll start on season four. Um, and then I'll probably end up playing Michonne depending on how it looks. So, yeah, this uh, this uh, whole series has been really fun and I've been really enjoying it. I actually enjoyed season three a lot more than I expected it to do. Kind of expected it to just not be a very fun season, it'd just be something that I pass off and. So. This season's been really fun, we'll finish up tomorrow, but uh, yeah, I really thought this season would just be something that I'd brush over and not stream it at all, but uh, 
looks like Michonne has three episodes, so that's not bad. But uh, yeah, we'll finish the season tomorrow, and yeah, I'll talk to you later. Uh,